Hi guys, uh, thanks for joining back. Alex Lima here. And uh, today I am going to show you something different uh, on, this, on this video. What I'm looking for here is to show you how we can interact some of the Golden Gate features with ChatGPT. Um, if you haven't heard about ChatGPT yet, it's the new uh, in, uh, artificial intelligence uh, uh, platform. It does, um, <laughs> it does amazing things. New because it was, this was released back in December and uh, it's in the early stages and it's, I have been playing with different things and, and yesterday I decided to try to do a few things Golden Gate related with it. And I thought it was pretty crazy what can do it. Um, and I, I like to share that some of that with you. So without you know getting too much in detail, let me show you what it is, and then we can uh, we can go ahead. So basically, what you do is you ask different questions, uh, whatever you want to ask. Um, you know, uh, I don't know what what is um, what is uh, the largest the largest largest continent in the in the world and what is what is its size let's see what it does i don't know i just came up with that that question so asia is the largest continent in the world with approximately 44 million square miles which is about 30 percent of the total earth local land area isn't that crazy? Anyways, so what I was what I was doing, I was doing all this, I was playing with this, and I decided to say, oh, let me let me try to see what I can do with Golden Gate here, right? So the first thing is I, I ask, um, um, write me an essay on what it is article Golden Gate. So, oh gosh, uh, I actually fixed my misspell. Look at this. So you go ahead and start telling me what Golden Gate is, you know, and it, and it's writing this on the fly based on artificial intelligence. So it's it's and it's writing me an essay about it. That's <laughs> that is a scare, you know. If you are in high school these days. I don't know if this is a good thing or not, but you know, I, I leave it to to others to judge. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens regarding to that. But it, it just wrote me a, a a four five paragraph essay on <clears throat> on Golden Gate. So I did that first, and then the second thing I said, "Wow, well, can you write me a code about Golden Gate?" So let's see this. Let's see this. Write, write me, write me a Golden Gate, Golden Gate, um, replication parameter files examples for extract and replicate. I'm not going to even say order for Golden Gate. I'm just going to say Golden Gate, and I hope you understand. Because I already asked that question before there, he probably already know that I am asking about Oracle Golden Gate. Oh, there you go, he does know. So he's creating the extract, look at this. Oh, it's creating a, a initial load extract, okay? So let's see if he's gonna create a replica extract. And, it, and he's actually explaining what he did now. Isn't this crazy? Now it's going to go and create my replicate. And now it's going to explain what replica is, or maybe um, it's, it's just, it's interesting that it, it even create the username. If you look at here, it created the username. We don't do that anymore. This is, this is, this is the classic replicate. Um, we usually put alias here, but you know, for for an artificial intelligence to create this is pretty pretty good. <laughs> but it's using classic, which is fine. But maybe maybe I can 
let's see. Let's see if I do this and it's going to give me a, a, a uh, let's say, a integrated replica integrated if if he does um uh, if he does something different here it would be pretty crazy let's see extract no nah, he did the same thing okay the, the bad part is i don't have a way to stop but um he did the same thing anyways so that's one one thing so he gave he created me the you know an example of an extract an example of a replica uh which i think was you know, uh, really incredible if you think about it. Um, give all the explanation so you don't have to research, you know, different places. Um, <clears throat> write me a Golden Gate Microservices REST API. Uh, a, write me a Golden Gate Microservices REST API to create a distribution path. So now I'm going to ask him to create me a Golden Gate REST API call to create distribution path. Let's see what he does. Post. Oh, he's giving, he's putting the payload there. That's the payload source target excluded tables, exclude tables. Why are you excluding tables? I didn't ask you to exclude tables. <laughs> Anyways, but you can see here, it did create, go ahead, he go ahead and and and, uh, and post some comments there, but you know, it's a post command, uh, basically. Um, so you, you do a curl command, do a post source plot. There's there's definitely more to, to the distribution path than this, but this gives us an example. And for a artificial intelligence to build this, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy, you know. So let's now let's play around and say, write me. I did this before. Let's see if it's gonna do the same thing. Write me now. I want him to create a REST API, not the call, but a REST API to start and stop extract uh, Golden Gate processes. Start and st stop and start Golden Gate processes. Let's see what it does. Hmm. Nah, he didn't do that. He just gave me the, he just gave me the REST API calls and, and that was not what I wanted. I wanted him to write me, write me a, um, microservice code to stop and start golden gate nah golden gate extract and replicat let's see oh there you go now he's creating um what, what is he doing here dun, 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 dun. He's doing this in Python. So it's creating a stop option. A stop option. And he probably gonna, I don't know, maybe you're gonna create an unstart option here. Uh, so he created a, a Python, um, Python code to stop, which this is actually pretty good because what this is doing, what this is doing is this is actually a Python code that's gonna take the extract name and it's gonna go ahead and, and process the stop. So that's actually pretty that's actually pretty good though. I mean he could do this in one code, right? Export and import, uh, um, stop and start, but he did in two steps, but pretty good if you think about it. Um, so pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, what else can I try here? Um, yeah, so let's say write me write me a Java code to get Golden Gate Golden Gate status 
from a REST API. So let's see. Now I'm asking him to create it in Java. There you go. So HTTP URL connection, that's what's going to go against the, against the, uh, the endpoint, uh, the extract name. Now again, process name is the extract. Look at that. It's creating the code for me. It's crazy. It would take me a week for do that. I'm, of course, I'm not a, I'm not a developer, but it would take me forever just to get to the first few lines. And it's doing for me. I'm, you know, I can come here after. Um, it's his. Okay, so he just finished. It's about what thirty lines, maybe fifty lines of code. I can copy this code, change the the URL. Um, maybe change this depends on the on the API how the API is, and it you know it's kind of I mean of course of course the status is not this you know he doesn't know yet uh, he or it uh, I don't know <clears throat> but uh, it's 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 pretty impressive it's pretty impressive what it does and I can let's do the same thing um, let's see if we can do the same thing in in Python, because I like Python better. <clears throat> I can probably do Python code in a day. <laughs> okay, so look at this. So it's going against the status again. It doesn't matter because that status, does, it's not what, what it is. But uh, the, the interesting part is, actually, I'm going to have to check because he gets this part correct. He gets this correct. I have to go check if this is a, actually valid, which I actually, which it actually it is. Um, let's let's check this real quick here. Um, let's check that real quick on the REST API calls. <clears throat> so I'm going to the documentation of REST APIs. Um, uh, um, processes. What is that? processes um, um, what is that well better not spend much time on it but um, he gets this right so which means this is a valid endpoint uh, I was just trying to find that endpoint here um, but uh, I don't want to take too much time uh, maybe is on command. No. Um, so da, da, ba, 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 ba. no, that's command. No. Okay. Not going to spend too much time on it. But, you know, you get the point. It's so much fun. Um, and you can, you can be pretty creative, you know, trying to figure out things. And, 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 uh, of course, I was just kind of trying to, to get this, uh, um, what is info all in Golden Gate? Go Golden Gate. So let's see what it says. <clears throat> info command. Well, uh, let's see if it shows. Okay, show show me the output for the info all in golden gate show me an example an output example oh there you go it's gonna do for me so the pretty cool about this it, it didn't show the result which that's what i wanted but the one thing that is pretty good is it's ga it gave the information about what it is. Process status, statistics, detail. Um, uh, let's see if uh, show, show an output example for the info. Let's see if it shows me the, the output example. Okay, here it is. Uh, there you go. It, it's going to do it. Again, this is, I can tell right now that... Um, this is in GGSCI, which means is a classic uh, version, uh, classic architecture of our product. 
Uh, but it, it does go ahead and gives you, look at this, it gives you the, the information and now it's going to probably tell me what it is and uh, et cetera. But let me see if I can, uh, you know, I can play this forever, you know, right? So um, in Golden Gate admin client, let's see if it's going to change from GGSCI to admin client. So if you remember, GG, um, admin client is a replacement for GGSCI on the microservice architecture. So let's see if it's gonna if it's gonna give me any different output. Now it doesn't. Uh, too bad. It doesn't understand about admin client yet for some reason. It should because admin client has been out since 2017. So it should it should pick that up. But anyways, uh, well I this is what I wanted to kind of share tonight. Uh, I hope you had fun. Uh, go ahead and, and, and play around with it. You know, uh, play around with Golden Gate. If you are in the Golden Gate space and, and you and you are a Golden Gate professional that works with it, play around with this. Let me know in the comments uh, what kind of information were you trying to get and and how did you get it or something that wasn't wasn't there that you thought it. Of course, you know you have to do your due diligence. Any information that you come out of here. Remember, it's artificial intelligence. You, you, you still need to, to go ahead and uh, make sure that everything is correct. So do your due diligence. I'm not recommend you to copy and paste from here to your environment and uh, start working on it. Just to make sure. But this is just kind of, I think it's just kind of another learning tool that's going to be very valuable for us uh, in general, not only in Golden Gate, of course, but in general, this is going to be something that is going to, uh, make a huge difference in our in our daily lives. Anyways, I thought to share this. Thank you very much. Leave the comments below, and I see you next time.